Hello guys, I'm Dr. Lee. Many patients have asked a lot of questions about what happens if the bone uh, doesn't come out well after statue lengthening surgery and uh, whether there are any treatment for that. So I'm going to talk about these today. The process of lengthening involves filling of a large space with bone. So uh, this is one of the most common concerns. What happens if the new bone uh, doesn't form properly? From an academic standpoint, uh, there are the surgeon's factors and the host factors. There is an impact uh, from the person performing the surgery on how well the bones will heal or not. And uh, there is an impact from the person undergoing the surgery. When it comes to uh, the outcome of the person undergoing the surgery, some people have bodies uh, that are exceptionally good at producing bone depending on their individual uh, characteristics, while others may not produce bone well even if the surgery is performed in the same way. As for such individual uh, characteristics or a certain disease uh, that they have, patients with chronic wasting disease uh, like diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis uh, do not produce bone well. Also, in terms of poor bone formation, smokers can be affected and all these are host factors. Then the surgeon's factor includes uh, how bone is cut during the surgery or how much the surrounding soft tissues are damaged or not. And uh, these also have very significant impact. Therefore, uh, because all these factors are mixed together, it is quite difficult to pinpoint what the problem is uh, when the bone does not form well. In some people, uh, bone formation goes well, while in others, it does not, even if the surgery is performed in the same way. In cases where bone formation is poor, first, the lengthening speed needs to be adjusted, which is very important. Why you need to continuously uh, monitor the bone formation as you lengthen, the lengthening speed uh, maybe need to be increased or decreased. This lengthening speed control is constantly required. Even with this speed control, uh, there are still cases where bone formation does not occur properly. In such case, uh, medication may be used or other measures like lipus uh, may be taken. There are various methods available for uh, cases where bone does not form well and these approaches help in um, enhancing the bone formation. Statue lengthening surgery and the surgery for LLD, leg length uh, discrepancy, is a bit different. In case of LLD, uh, there may be congenital conditions involved and if it is caused by an injury, uh, the area where the injury occurred or where previous surgery was performed will be often have poor soft tissue conditions. Uh, this can lead to difficulties in bone formation, which is a, a patient-related factor. However, most people who undergo cosmetic stature lengthening are generally healthy and young. Because of that, there are not many patient-related factors. Nevertheless, uh, there could be still uh, cases where bone formation is not that good. If such cases are common in cosmetic stature lengthening, it could be said the factors related to the doctors are more significant uh, than the patient-related factors. But it's not easy for a patient to raise this as an issue. Uh, this is because the causes include both doctor-related and patient-related factors. So, it is almost impossible to prove that the poor bone formation resulted from the surgeon's mistake uh, during the surgery. However, if patients who have surgery with a specific doctor experience uh, these bone formation issues pretty often, it suggests that there may really be an issue related to the doctor. Due to these issues, the options available to patients after surgery are quite limited. To promote good bone formation, maintaining a proper diet is also essential. Bones are composed of collagen and minerals. And one of the common questions from the patients 
is whether patient should have a lot of calcium or if drinking bone broth is helpful. Uh, both are meaningful because uh, calcium is a mineral and bone broth contains high quality protein which helps in collagen production. It is true that uh, protein is essential for collagen uh, which is crucial for bone formation. However, uh, simply consuming a lot of calcium is not necessarily beneficial on its own. If you take too much calcium, uh, it can occasionally lead to having urinary stones. So please take a proper amount of calcium. The important thing is that when calcium enters our body, this calcium needs to be absorbed by the body. And vitamin D is the one that helps this process. This means vitamin D is just as crucial as calcium for the bone. Uh, after surgery, if you stay indoor uh, all the time, you are likely to be deficient in vitamin D, so it is important to take vitamin D supplements. But it would be the best to get 30 minutes of sunlight a couple of times a week to boost vitamin D levels. Along with the vitamin D and a proper amount of calcium, it is also crucial to obtain a sufficient protein for bone formation. After stretch lengthening surgery, uh, sometimes young women uh, go on a diet or skip meals to lose weight. It can be really crucial uh, to the bone health. If you diet, the supply of nutrients is not only insufficient, but uh, hormonal imbalance also occur, which means your bone won't form properly. You should never diet. Another point uh, to consider is that uh, in the case of LON, low method, patient can stand why uh, those imprecise cannot. If patient with LON keep standing and putting their weight on their feet, it can promote bone formation. People uh, often on, uh, wonder if there are specific figures of individuals who experience good bone formation. I have conducted various studies to determine this, but we still don't have a clear answer about this. However, uh, it is true that on average, women tend to have a lower bone formation compared to men. Among factors such as being overweight or underweight, none of them have shown significant meaning. Even older people can have good bone formation. In case of children, they generally have better bone formation compared to adults. However, once someone reaches adulthood, the impact of age on the bone formation seems to decrease significantly. Among the factors that impair bone formation, smoking is very, very harmful, as it has been proven academically as well. Also, high level of stress are known to interfere with bone formation due to impact of stress hormones. That's it for today. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.